Hello, assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Masuma Zishan and I'm your moderator for the Ed Festival 2021. It is an exciting three-day virtual event where we're, we're bringing you 13 university sessions as well as learning sessions on SOP, uh, which went really, really well incidentally just a while ago and other learning sessions which are to follow, which include visa application, LinkedIn, and much, much more. I'm really excited on the first day because so much has been covered, but so much is more in store. Our next session is with the University of Gloucestershire, and I'll tell you a little bit about the university and then introduce our esteemed guest for today, Mr. Obed Haq. The University of Gloucestershire is one of the most diversified and vibrant public universities, which is located over three campuses at the most beautiful and scenic cities of Cheltenham and Gloucester. The university traces its route back from Cheltenham Mechanical College 1834, which makes her one of the oldest and finest institutions in the UK in the modern era. It is top 20 ranked courses in the field of art and design, communication and public relations, geography and environment. It offers affordable fee structure of just 14,000 to 15,000 pounds with further scholarship opportunities worth 3,000 for the top bright students. So yes, scholarship opportunities are available. Intakes are in January and September, 2021 now. And I'd now like to welcome our guest for today, Mr. Obed Haq, the Business Development Manager for the University. Welcome to Ed Festival 2021, Obed. Thank you very much, Masuma. It was just a, a very warm and wonderful introduction. Uh, a lot of information has already been given to uh, my uh, participants, definitely, and it was such a warm and wonderful introduction. Right, so I'm gonna take over uh, and I'm gonna share a slide with you uh, so that we can further discuss a little deep in details for the, regarding the courses, regarding the location of the university and you know, uh, the tuition fee structure and, um, and what sort of uh, scholarships have been offered by the university. So allow me to share my screen, please. Okay, I'm gonna start right from the logo, what University of Gloucestershire is. Um, that's the logo of University of Gloucestershire. And that is just one of the marvelous and beautiful campus uh, down in the Southwest of the uh, UK. And it is one of the- Obed, uh, if you allow me to interrupt you, uh, uh, I cannot see the slide deck yet. Uh, okay, okay, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. Can you guys see it now? Is this okay? We can. Okay, okay. Uh, as I was saying, uh, this is one of the most beautiful campuses in UK. And it is one of our campuses in uh, Southwest of England. And actually, part, this is called Park Campus and it offers a variety of courses. And look at this beautiful place. Actually, it's one of the meadows in UK. So I really love this campus. Moving on. Um, the first thing that we have to consider is how do we pronounce it, uh, pronounce this, the name of the, this, this university. It's actually Gloucestershire, right? So the correct pronunciation is Gloucestershire. And um, as, I, as I said, it is one of the beautiful Coswell countryside. Coswell is the area where, where, uh, is, where, where is one of, the, one, of, one of the two campuses are located. And these campuses have both the city and the countryside of, of the university, right? And it is uh, one of the best locations that I've ever found for, uh, for this university. It is one of the top 20 UK universities, especially in three subjects area. Uh, it is considered to be uh, geography and environmental studies, religious studies, and so on and so forth for uh, public relations and communications. And then we have a huge opportunity for uh, 3,000 pound uh, scholarship available to each and every student. And then uh, when it comes to graduate employability, we have like 93% employability rate and then our students can get the job within six months of their study period. Moving on, 
Uh, let's, let me just give you a brief introduction. And uh, it was it is a public-based university based in Gloucestershire, and it was founded in 1837 uh, as Mechanics Student of Cheltenham. Located over three campuses, two in Cheltenham and one in Gloucestershire. Uh, it offers more than 100 undergraduate courses and more than 50 postgraduate uh, courses all over from eight facult different faculties. Uh, the location is strategically very, very important. It is not that far from London and to the main uh, cities of Birmingham, Bristol, Bath, Oxford. It's just like two hours away from London and one hour from Birmingham and Bristol and these uh, cities. A uh, beautiful countryside of Oxford. And then, uh, as I said, it was uh, it ranks 20, top 20 UK for three faculties, geography, religion, and communication, and PR. Um, let's just have a look for these programs and available intake. Uh, mostly, these are the most, uh, you know, the famous program for undergraduate programs and postgraduate programs. Um, and then we have, we have like business management, communication and media, computer studies, electrical engineering, sports journalism, and mechatonic in mechatonic engineering um, are are available for both September and January intakes. And then when we talk about the postgraduate programs, we have one of the very top notch program, global MBA program. Uh, I'll give you the detail uh, later for this program. That is one of the most fascinating program offered by our university. Then we have like uh, MSc data sciences, which is one of the very, very important subjects these days. Uh, it is offered, we offer MSc in data sciences. And then we have like MSc cyber security, and then we have sports therapy as well. And then sports coaching science as well. Uh, we do offer MSc in games development as well. And for business students, we have human resource management uh, as well. So let's just discuss some of uh, academic requirements. Uh, mostly we have undergraduate in entry requirements, and then we have, we're gonna discuss postgraduate entry requirements. Uh, when we have a look for undergraduate entry requirements, we have like, if so, we have like two main backgrounds of the medium. Uh, one is the one, uh, one uh, is coming from the HSC background and the other one is coming from an A-level background. So those of you who are uh, coming from higher secondary uh, HSC background, we have like, uh, they should have a good average score. And then we have, we would definitely de uh, place them in an integrated foundation of our program. And then if you have success, if you have, if you already have a HSC, and then if you, or if you have plus two more years of bachelor's, uh, like uh, in Pakistan, we have like BCom, Bachelor of Art, Bachelor of Sciences, then there's a high probability that we can offer you the first year of our college. And then we have for, uh, for art and design courses, for architecture courses, we always have to have a portfolio and interview from our admission team. And then if someone is coming from A-level background, for A-level students, typical requirements are B, B, C, right? And then I'm going to discuss postgraduate entry requirements, successful completion of a two years bachelor's degree plus a two years master's degree with an average score of 55% or CGPA 2.6. And then we have second option, successful completion. Actually, this is this one is the mainstream of uh, admission requirement. If someone is coming from in, uh, three to four years of bachelor's uh, with an average score of 55%, uh, CGPS 2.6, and then we offer them uh, our uh, masters in uh, business in the whatever the program they choose for. Uh, let's discuss uh, typical English uh, language requirements. We all have uh, we normally accept PTE Pearson, and our first priority is PTE uh, a, a UKBI IELTS test and having a score of six overall and plus with, uh, with not, not less than 5.5 in each band, right? Uh, some courses of like health sciences and journal courses, they can have a higher degree requirements, high IELTS requirement, uh, but it, depends, it totally depends on the course. Uh, let's just wrap up with the tuition fees and scholarships. Uh, it is one of the very high affordable universities offered in UK. Uh, our, Bachelor program ranges from 14,700 to 15,000 pounds. And then we have like bachelor in business, bachelor's in computers, bachelor in visual communication, all they have the same fee structure of having like 17,400 pounds. Um, when we talk about postgraduate studies, postgraduate studies, master's in global MBA is around like 15,500 pounds. 
master's in financial accounting is 15,500 pounds and master's in health sciences is 15,500 pounds. The general perception for this university is around like, uh, it, comes, it comes around like 14,000 to 15,000 pounds for undergraduate and postgraduate courses. So let's just discuss some of the very uh, great scholarships that we offer. Uh, we offer 3,000 pounds for the first year tuition fees. It is uh, applicable to each and every one, uh, each and every individual who applies to our university and there's no application required. It's just that we need to have an offer letter and 3,000 pound scholarship will be automatically rewarded to you. Um, let's just discuss one of the important, very important scholarships uh, applicable for postgraduate and undergraduate as well. So let's say for, for your top notch students having a score of 80, 80%, 90%. And so we offer those, uh, we offer 50% off for the first year tuition fees for those bright students. Uh, so it's just a, a very, very important and very, you know, very valuable chance to, for them to continue their studies in UK. Um, it is pu purely based on merit and purely uh, depend on their grades and portfolio requirements. And then uh, the last application uh, for this, for you have to apply for this uh, scholarship particularly, and the last date is uh, around like 21st of July. And then uh, the application deadlines fall under 15 to 20th of July. So that was just like a quick recap for my university, University of Gloucestershire. If you have any questions, I'm very happy to be here to, you know, to answer all of your inquiries. Over to you, uh, Masmaya. Yes, thank you for such an insight, insightful session, Obed. Uh, apologies, I'd uh, shut off my camera and took a few seconds to get no, no, back that's, on. That's, that's absolutely understandable. No so we're now going to be uh, taking uh, questions from our participants and viewers of this session. And the first one is about the ratio of international students, especially how many Pakistani students are on campus. That That is one of the very, very, uh, you know, uh, uh, crucial questions that to be asked from uh, for, to me, you know. Uh, we have like around 8,000 uh, people on board uh, in our university and Pakistani strength would be around at least uh, 300 students all over the campus, you know, having different in different scenarios, like some of them are in foundation programs, some of them they are doing undergraduate final year or some of them they are doing their postgraduate uh, programs, you know. So it's it's a quite, a quite good number of strength uh, in the University of Gloucestershire, yeah. Yes, so thank you for helping us correct the pronunciation as well. Uh, Gloucestershire, right? It's actually um, Gloucestershire. I myself used to make mistakes when I used to pronounce this word. Uh, and, you know, definitely I, I have seen people uh, pronouncing it mistakenly, you know, Gloucestershire or Gloucestershire. I myself used to do it. So I know this uh, is quite, you know, uh, you, you have to be very precise and very accurate to pronounce this word so it's actually when you when we break this uh the whole uh word it's gloss g l o double -S, s from glossy and then t u2 it's like two okay gloss two and then share i'm like lion or share the gloss to share gloss to share and uh, gloss to share. Gloss to share. yeah thank you so uh, we have another question uh, that Please. the students are asking does the university require a bank statement at admission um, normally, typically what happens when you apply for undergraduate, postgraduate or any other course, uh, it, is one, it, it is not the U, uh, university requirements, actually the visa requirements. You know, you need to maintain uh, funds for 28 days in, in, a, in your bank account. It could, be your, it could be under you or it could be your under parental account. So uh, the time from the offer and to the time you arrive there, the only thing that is required from university is your, is your documents, that's all. Once you have the offer, then you start preparing yourself for visa processes. So I think uh, university does not require anything. Once you have the offer, you are good to go. Right, thank you. And that brings me to the last question. The students are asking, are we allowed to live off of campus? Um, 
definitely you are allowed to but it's not it is not advisable because you know when you are in a foundation or, or you know when you go to some some country you are not familiar with the environment so it is always advisable to stay on campus so i would say you stay on campus for at least for a while so you get to familiarize yourself with the environment and then you start to move out you know spread your wings and try to find uh, something that falls under your budget or anything but i would say stay on campus first at least for a six month or or, or for a year and then you can move out because it's uh, it's very uh, definitely uh, but once you get the family uh, familiar with the environment then you can uh, it is advisable that you can stay off campus as well yes thank you obey then i would say campus life is an experience right living alone exactly, is exactly exactly another I mean, experience is, yeah. but the dorm room and the shared kitchen and cooking together and exercising and i mean you know um, uh, these days will never come so you should enjoy the campus life literally i mean i i myself uh, you know miss those days uh, campus life is is entirely different from off campus life you know campus is just superb you know every each and every facility uh, to the students are provided they are provided i mean especially when we say for this current scenario each and everything the cleaning itself is going on perfectly well and university is following proper rules and regulations as uh, as prescribed by uk compliance you know so uh, prop university is pro uh, taking proper proper each and everything uh, in proper way you know so So yes, so you know, if, if you get an apartment like we had gotten off of campus, that means you'll be, uh, you know, acclimatizing even more quickly with the cooking, cleaning, etc. Here mm. you'll get the privilege, uh, you know, being from Pakistan, you'll get serviced apartments or dorm rooms or or shared rooms. So avail them and enjoy that right. until you decide to uh, cut the umbilical cord and move out of uni. Uh, very true. Very true. Again, thank you so much, uh, uh, Obaid, for this wonderful uh, session. Uh, if any of the thank yes, thank you so much. So, if anyone has made up their mind and wants to apply to uh, University of Gloucestershire, Gloucestershire. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, if you want to uh, apply to it, please let us know, and we'll be happy to get you started. Call us at zero three zero four triple one eighty twenty. If you have any questions for Obaid or myself. i'll pass them on so do give us a call thank you so much for tuning in and do tune in to the other sessions at the ed festival as well i strongly encourage you to know more before you make up your mind thank you so much well, thank you very much ed. from my side thank you have a nice day have a nice day uh bye for now bye thank you bye thank you